Hey everybody and welcome back to Off-Road Independence. My name is Eric McGrew, I'm your host today. And I'm going to talk to you today about a topic that is something that's fairly new really in wheeling, I guess. Um, I only saw it in the past few years and that is wheel size. For the past, oh man, I don't know, 15 years? No, more. Tw yeah, no, 15 years or so. I, I know that wheel size has become a big aspect of all vehicle mod modifying. I mean, I, I remember wanting to put, you know, 18s on my, my car and stuff like that back in the day. And uh, like the late 90s, early 2000s. And I, I never really thought about it much until around 10 years ago, maybe six years ago, when some of the trucks started coming out, you know, pickup trucks and stuff with 18s, 20s um that kind of stuff and it started to strike me as kind of odd why why would you put a big a big wheel on these trucks and I, I guess you could say that i thought it was for the bling factor if that's what you want to call it but then i talked to my dad one day and he he's not into off-roading he has a he does have a nice little truck though that's very capable he has a ford f-150 i think it's a 90 two and it's got the 5.0 in it and it's four wheel drive it's the short bed and he took off his american racing weld style wheels if you want to call them that uh, i can't really remember what the name of them is it's the it's the solid aluminum billet looking wheel that has the the holes the t the small holes all the way around the center hub and he had some mt tires on them some mud tires that came with the truck and so Somebody somebody convinced him to buy some 17-inch rims or 20-inch rims. I don't remember what they were, but they were big rims, and then the tires on them were, you know, not low profile, but they weren't real thick tires. And one of the things that came out of the conversation when I was asking him why did you, you know, change out good wheels for, for these other wheels that are completely fine, but I just didn't understand it. And he told me because he wanted larger size diameter tires. Now, first off, if you don't know, and I'm sure most of you guys listening to this podcast do know, or, or gals, I don't mean to to say that only guys are listening. Wheel size doesn't determine the overall diameter size within a normal range. So let's say up to 37s maybe, 40s maybe, you can get 15 inch wheel with those size tires. If you get a 20 inch rim and you're running 40s, it's it's still the same outside diameter because that's what the name of the size or that's what the size determines the outside diameter so why would somebody tell somebody that they had to have a bigger rim to get bigger tires on it for two reasons typically one the person didn't know what they were talking about very very common or two they wanted to sell you a wheel <laughs> what does this mean for off-roading though well that's a good question because for some time now, I've been scratching my head and I've been asking, you know, what is it that is making people buy 20 inch, 17 inch, 18 inch rims and then go wheeling? Because to me, most of the 20 inch wheels that I've seen or the 17 inch wheels that I've seen have been wheels that are fairly aggressive in style. They they kind of have a, a tuner look to them, if you want to call it that or, you know, whatever. And they've gotten away from that traditional wheel look. Now, I'm not saying I hate them or I love them. I'm just saying this is what I've noticed in them. A lot of times they have chrome or whatever on them or they have two-tone and that kind of stuff. And they're cool. But I always think, man, a 20-inch wheel out on the trail, that's just something to really get beat on, to really get scrubbed up, scuffed up, mangled, you know. I started wondering why these wheels had become so popular and I, I was looking through a lot of stuff and I kind of came up with some information and, and I hope you guys are uh, able to understand what I'm trying to say and hope you guys agree but if not I want to know about it so what I can figure out is that 
17 inch wheels for instance or 18 inch wheels they have a they have a true benefit and one of the benefits is if you're running a newer vehicle especially like a newer full-size truck and you have the bigger calipers with the bigger rotors the bigger wheels are necessary simply because your calipers and your rotors won't fit inside a smaller wheel so in that case the reality is it's beneficial to have a 17, 18, 20 inch wheel based on the fact that you need space for that stuff to fit in there. Now, granted, let's face it, calipers and rotors, are they going to be so big that you're going to have to have a 20 inch wheel? Probably not. But if you want 20 inch, that's fine. It's your it's your cash. It's your time. Get, get what you want. At the same time, I figured out there's another benefit to those wheels because when you buy a 17 inch wheel or a 20 inch wheel especially like let's say once again you're on 40s if you have a 15 inch wheel then you have a lot more sidewall you have to have a lot more sidewall because you only have a diameter of 15 inches in the center and then you have the extra that you need on the outsides so when you take that into consideration you're going to have a lot more flex on your tire. And we're talking like just daily driving. I mean, on the highway, you're going to have more flex. Running out and about, you're going to have more flex. If you're running pre-runner style, you're going to have more flex on the sidewalls and things like that. But if you're out crawling, you're going to have more flex. And if you're running lower pressures, there's more of a likelihood that you're going to pull that wheel off your rim because you have more sidewall pulling and it's lot softer than if you have a lower profile tire so if you have a 17 inch wheel all that changes because now you've lost two inches of overall sidewall because you've gained two inches of overall diameter in your wheel that starts to lessen the amount of sidewall and it makes it stiffer that's just how materials work rubber steel all of it it works the same the more flat sheet you have the more soft and pliable it is. The shorter piece of flat sheet you have of whatever material, the stiffer it is, especially if it's at the same thickness. So when you're running 40s on 15 inch wheels, well, you have a situation where you have a lot of sidewall. If you're running 20s with 40s, 20 inch wheels with 40 inch tires, that all goes away. Well, not all, but a large portion of it goes away. And all of a sudden you have a stiffer sidewall that will allow you not to pull it off as easily. And plus you have that much less sidewall that you have to worry about puncturing or whatnot, being torn, cut, whatnot. I guess I see the benefit of that. At the same time though, I don't know. It just seems like 20 inch wheels would get banged up more I've never run 20s. I can't. I can't say. I've only run 18s on a street car, so I don't have much to say on it as far as experience goes. But it's kind of what I see. It's kind of what I think. I think that it's just you know something that could be really beneficial in one way, but is it really that beneficial in the other? Because I mean, a wheel is a wheel, and the further out you get from the hub the softer the material has to get, the weaker they have to get, or they have to get much heavier. So if the wheels aren't getting a ton heavier, are they really as strong? I mean, you're losing sidewall once again, but are you really gaining the strength in the wheel? You know, I'd really like somebody to talk to me about this. I want to know, is there, who's an expert out there, or who has a lot of experience at least, that can talk to me about this topic, that can tell me, you know what, Eric, I know this because I sell these wheels. I know this because I run these wheels. I know this because I use these wheels. I know this because, hey, I design these wheels. If you're one of those people, I want you to let me know. I want to talk about this with you because I'm really, really interested. Don't, don't get me wrong. I have my opinions on it, but I'm not saying my opinions are right. It's just what I think at the moment. And I mean, granted, at the same time, I know that there's other things you can do, like a tire choice and that kind of stuff that'll help and, and those kind of situations as well. So all of that has to do with how good these wheels and these tires really are. So once again, I mean, let me know. Am I just off my rocker? Am I completely out of whack here? Or am I on the right track? And I mean, granted, I'm running a Nizuzu Trooper, but hey, if you want to send me a set of uh, 20 inch wheels with, uh, I don't know, some 37s, I'll be more than happy to run all these and you can sponsor me for as long as my show runs. But just let me know. Once again, this is Eric with 
Off-Road Independence. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Please keep coming back and send me emails. Let me know what you think. Let me know what topics are concerning you. Let me know what experiences you've had. I mean, that's really what we're about here. We want to we want to help people become independent in the off-road world. What we want is that you can feel confident in what you're doing on your own. Stop by, let me know what you think, and I'll be looking forward to hearing from you.